Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tasta Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you today how to make a very simple and pretty and kid-friendly Valentine's Day cake. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And we will begin. All right, I'm going to start with the chocolate cake. My boys and I were making this and we made, decided to make a chocolate cake. So it's just a little six inch cake. I cut it in half as you can see. I put a little dab of icing on the side because I'm going to take them apart and put them back together and I want them to stack evenly. So I've got it on my little cake plate. I've put a layer of icing between the two where my little stack's gonna go. Once I get a nice thick layer of icing here, I'm gonna match up my marks and then I'm going to do just the crumb coat of the icing. Just slather it on there. You're gonna see it's gonna go on kind of crumbly, kind of thin. And that's fine. I'm also going to end up shimming my cake, <laughs> you see, all over the cake plate. And when you get used to working on a turntable when you're icing your cakes and then you put it on a stationary one and you have to like manually turn it, it's like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? I just, yeah, it's like so barbaric almost <laughs> how I was doing it. But anyway, while the cake is in the fridge chilling, I am going to mix a little bit of food coloring with some of my icing that I've made. This is a little bit in a bowl just uh, with some light pink and then I'm going to mix some dark pink as well, kind of a hot pink color right here. Look at that, nice and hot pink. Kind of reminds me of My Little Pony or, you know, Valentine's Day, whatever. And I left the rest white, so I have a lot of white and a little bit of the dark pink and light pink. Now my cake is coming out of the fridge and I took some hot pink as you see and I'm just kind of blopping it here and there and that is the proper term for this technique. It is called blopping. And I'm going to now blop on some of the light pink here and there and I'm, ten, I'm sticking with it more around the base of the cake. I'm not doing an ombre effect. Um, just I just wanted it you know, to be light on the top because when I do the heart design, I want it to be nice and, and really contrasting. So it doesn't matter to me that the light pink and dark pink are mixing together. It doesn't matter if it's a little messy. I'm just slopping it on and when I smooth it out, it's all going to blend together and it'll be just kind of soft and pretty. That's my goal here, just so, soft and pretty. And like I said, this is a very kid-friendly cake. This was something my one son and I put together. Although he just gave up and decided to watch me after the cake was made. He was more interested in just eating the scraps. So uh, it's a chocolate cake and it is a cream cheese icing that I added a little lemon extract to because I like it a little, little tangy and a little creamy at the same time. Anyway, I put my icing on there. I smoothed and smoothed and smoothed. And as you can see, it kind of blended the hot pink and the light pink together at the bottom. Got my white at the top, or at least, you know, kind of white. I didn't add any food coloring to it to make it whiter. But you could do that if you want. All right. Now, I've got a piece of paper here. I folded it in half. And now, just like we have all done when we were kids, I'm cutting out a heart. And since I folded it in half, it's nice and symmetrical. Look at that. I'm going to take my little piece of paper heart, and I'm going to carefully press it down onto my cake in the center there. And now I've got some hot pink crystals, sugar crystals, that I am sprinkling around the border there. And I know it's getting on top of the paper too, but that's okay because we're just basically going to kind of do a silhouette effect with this. So I put on a nice layer of my sprinkles there. Now I'm going to add some of the soft pink sugar beads that I have. And they are kind of just rolling here and there and everywhere. So I'm trying to press them down and just carefully put them into place. I don't want them scattered all over. I do want them to stay more in the center, or I should say more around the outline. Like you can see, I, I pretty heavily peppered it now at this point. And in my final little touches here and there, I'm going to put some hot pink metallic candies. I am placing these by hand just because I only wanted a few of them and the other ones were just rolling all over the place. This cake is very cute, it's very simple, and I gotta say, if you have better skills than me, if you can make a nice, even, you know, cake with nice sharp edges and everything, it would look so much better, but it has such potential, so I wanted to share it anyway. And like I said, if you do this with your kids, it's easy, it's fun, you know, whatever. It, they'll, it's a pretty cake, it's nice. So I added some more of the sugar crystals just because I really wanted a sharp edge. 
I used a dry paintbrush to brush some of the sugar off because I didn't want to make too much of a mess trying to lift this. I realized my paper stuck a little bit to the icing, so I'm just very gently, very carefully brushing it down. If that doesn't work, stick it in the fridge for a few minutes so it can chill, and then you can just press it down, so it's okay. Last step here, take a wet paper towel, wipe down your cake plate, get all the little extra icing off, and if you have any big blobs, you just can eat it because the cream cheese icing is delicious. And there you go. It's a nice, simple, pretty little Valentine's Day cake. So I hope you found my quick little video helpful. Please like and subscribe because again, I do find that helpful. I've got a lot of other videos out there, so please check those out. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.